I remember the first time I met those two, laughed Boko. They nearly made my eyes pop out. Edward soon put a stop to their games. Edward is the only one who can keep Bill and Ben in order, chuckled Duck. I sometimes call them the bees. A good name, replied Boko. They're terrors when they start buzzing around. James bustled in. What's that, Duck? He snorted. Are you afraid of bees? They're only insects after all, so don't let that buzzbox diesel tell you different. His name is Boko, and he didn't we. I wouldn't care, interrupted James. If hundreds were swarming around, I'd just blow smoke and make them buzz off. Buzz, 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 retorted Duck. Mind your backs, he shouted. Then there was trouble. The beehive fell and broke open. The station cleared like magic. James heard a familiar buzzing. The bees were too cold to be cross, so they buzzed around the fireman hoping he'd mend their hive, but he didn't understand, nor did his driver. So the bees turned to James. His boiler was nice and warm. Buzz off! Buzz off! hissed James. One bee burnt his foot. Ooh, ah, phew, phew! The bee thought James had burnt him on purpose. So it stung James right back on the nose. Eee! Whistled James. He had had enough. So had his fireman and driver. They didn't notice till too late that they had left all their coaches behind. 